best for soil, compost, advantages and disadvantages. Hello. Hi, my name is Alfred Grand. This Best for Soil video tells you about the advantages when using compost, but also about the issues you have to consider when either producing or applying compost on your fields or in your greenhouse. At the end of the video, you will find additional information on these topics. Please consider to watch also the other Best for Soil videos on compost and other soil health related topics. Compost is a product that results from microbial decomposition of organic matter under aerobic conditions. Depending on composting method, size, intensity of the operation and the input material, a large range of composts with different qualities can be produced. Although compost has a wide range of beneficial characteristics, depending on the feedstocks, production and storage conditions, management and legal restrictions, the benefits and disadvantages of the use and production of compost have to be considered. One of the biggest benefits of compost is the large portion of organic matter it contains. It contains a wide range of microbes, increases water holding capacity in soil, stores carbon and provides humic substances. Through further microbial decomposition, it is food for the microbial community and slowly makes nutrients plant available. Organic matter also increases the stability of the soil aggregates and therefore increases water infiltration. Compost carries a broad range of microbial diversity. These bacteria, fungi and protozoa have several functions in the soil. They act as a bridge between the plant roots and the mineral soil, mobilize nutrients and form soil aggregates. They are also an important stakeholder in one of the most important characteristics of compost, the suppression of soil-borne diseases. Soil-borne diseases are a huge threat to farmers and growers. Compost can play a significant role in the suppression of these diseases. Biological, as well as chemical and physical properties of a compost are responsible. These three factors are interconnected and the compost has either direct or indirect inhibitory effects on soil-borne diseases. Direct effects are microbial competition for nutrients, humic substances, toxic volatiles and parasitism. Indirect effects of suppressive composts are healthy plant growth reduce stress of the plants, induced resistance for the plants, and enhance soil structure. In general, compost is not a plant production agent, but can be of great help to reduce pressure from soil-borne diseases. Another positive effect of compost addition is the availability of nutrients. Depending on soil temperature and moisture content, the release of nutrients through further decomposition of the organic matter, but also the mobilization of fixed nutrients from mineral compounds in the soil can have a significant contribution to plant nutrition. All of these positive effects from compost application and use add up to a more resilient soil. Impacts from severe weather events, soil cultivation, as well as pesticide application are less negative for the soil and subsequently for the plants. All these positive effects from compost come also with some challenges. Number one is the availability of compost in quantity, but also in quality in a certain area. Therefore, it is critical that your chosen compost is controlled for positive characteristics either through internal or external quality control. The essential analysis necessary for a compost are physical characteristics like pH and electrical conductivity or salinity level, chemical characteristics for nutrient content and also for heavy metals are necessary, especially if it is not clear which feedstocks were used for the compost. The most important analytics for microbes are the ones for pathogens. 
Tests for microbial diversity and or functional microbial groups are getting more attraction now, especially if compost tea production is considered. Even if not all microplastic can be found with the naked eye, checking a compost heap after a rain event can give a clear impression how much glass, plastic, metal or other contaminants are in the compost. Another disadvantage of compost is that it is bulky and heavy and therefore handling, production, transport and application on the field needs heavy-duty equipment. The use of compost offers a huge range of benefits for soil health and many soil functions. But, as always, lots of consideration and planning has to be done up front to get all the benefits and reduce the disadvantages. If you want to get more information on compost, feel free to check the Best for Soil website where you can find additional resources.